Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today is day 24 of our 30 day hero's journey through yoga. And today's theme is irony. Irony, the way to look at the subject, there is many ways to look at it. But in life, sometimes our blessings turn out to be not so so great later down the line and sometimes the things that were the biggest challenges turn out to be the biggest blessing so it is something to always keep your mind aware about and always be vigilant because life sometimes unfolds in unforeseen ways and there is irony so in greek tragedy the the significance the full significance of the hero's words or actions are visible to the observers, to the audience, but they're not fully visible to the hero himself. So the audience almost acts as the higher self, your higher self. So your observers or the outsiders can see sometimes aspects of you that are not fully visible to you or you don't understand them at the time. And my spiritual teacher, I love the teachings of a Bulgarian a spiritual philosopher named Ben Saduno and he has lines that were very very inspiring in the subjects uh, along the lines of irony if there is a person drowning and he's carrying a bag of gold on his back a thief shows up he's drowning right the thief steals the bag from the drowning person and what does that do it saves the person because he stops drowning now does the thief did the thief did a good or a bad thing <laughs> let me know in the comments below because he ultimately saved the person's life but he stole his gold right after this a little longer introduction we're gonna have a little shorter of a class are you ready to flow with strength and ease Starting at the front of the mat today, I've brought a little helper, a little beautiful selenite bowl from my little gem stash and I'll have it here. And today's class is perfect for busy days when you want to get a lot done in a little less time. Let's close the eyes, roll the shoulders back and down. Draw the belly in, belly button draws in. Feel your feet, feel your foundation, deepen the breath. Inhaling and exhaling, creating space. Let's take chair, inhale the hands over the head, pull the belly in, yay chair! I honestly, since we started doing the yays, chair has become the easiest pose for me. It wasn't that easy before the challenge, so I do think there is something to the yay and something to the continuous practice of chair. So I feel like I have strengthened lower back, core and legs far more, just through this. Inhale coming out, arch, exhale hands over the heart. Inhale over the head chair, hold, shift back and come up, inhale, arch, exhale hands over the heart and now reach over the head chair. and come up all right here we're gonna swing side to side today i'm giving you less planks shifting side to side and allowing the arms to swing all right let's bring a little 
mini squat in here as we swing side to side swing now reach up reach up reach up reach up great come back to center clasping the hands one of my favorite yoga poses ever side bend so here you can have your hips and shoulders touching the wall and now reach and see how far you can reach without removing one of the shoulders of the wall back of the heels can stack into opposite side look up lengthen the wall is absolutely not necessary but it's just a gauge for how much you might be coming out of alignment opposite side great starting with the little intervals we're gonna hop to one side of the mat step behind hop to the other let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty again i'll give you in between poses side bends which again is waistline trimmers and the beauty of this pose is that it can help with digestion bloating common issues that people deal with that are sometimes easily addressed by some yoga poses opposite side sometimes <laughs> one more opposite side all right step your feet a little wider than hip width apart and <laughs> and here we're gonna so we're going to take the right hand to the inside of the left foot and then reach out to the right touch in a squat reach touch driving the body back reach let's go one two three straight back the entire time four five six seven really reaching out nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20 side bends reaching to one side really lengthen the left and the right side back to center opposite this doesn't look like much but it's one of the best poses for your posture digestion even hormonal health sometimes things that seem a little too simple are more powerful than the complicated things people do for health the irony <laughs> of that all right opposite side <sighs> reaching one so left hand right foot reaching over to the left side and really find length three straight back four I'll demonstrate that straight back five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, and that's 20. And side bend, just one on each side, really lengthen. Press your feet down, opposite side. Excellent. And back to center. And now we're going to bring your left foot to your elbow. So the reason why I'm doing this is so that we're not doing knee to elbow, but more of a knee open and foot up. This is better for your inner thighs rather than when we lift the legs forward, we're just activating too much of the hip flexors. We wanna keep those elongated with yoga and less strengthening exercises. They can throw the lower back out of alignment or the pelvis out of alignment because the hip flexors stay quite strong for people due to sitting a lot and walking. So there, most people have really strong hip flexors and we don't need to strengthen them further. We need to stretch them out. <laughs> so here we're gonna strengthen the inner thigh and the core. <sighs> Give me just a test drive here. Pull the belly in as hard as you can and bring your elbow in, good. Now you can step back and not a full one, just a step back and again. Okay, how's that? Let's go. I think I'm giving you pretty much exercise is good for all levels. Step back. If you're super advanced, then you can lower down. But other than that, just step it back. And now squeeze the belly in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, let's do five more, eleven, twelve, fourteen, breathe, fifteen, just one side bent on each side, reach over to the left, press the right foot down, the other edge of the right foot, look up, opposite side, Perfect, if you wanna perfect something, perfect this one. It's literally my favorite pose. You will feel taller after today and somehow stronger around here. Like when you walk, you will feel your core activating. Opposite side, side, right leg goes back and bringing the knee out. Activating the inner thigh. All right. Two, I'm a little behind. Four, squeeze the belly in. Five, six, seven, eight, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good. You can shake out legs and arms. And here we're going to take the left leg back, just step it back, step it back, step it in and bring your elbows down as if you're doing a crunch. And that's another variation. You can do a crunch, again, belly in, but you can also just keep your toes on the floor and pull the belly in and step it back, pull in, step it back, pull in. Here, this is almost like an isometric move where how much you flex is more important than how big the move is. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And because we did stuff for the legs yesterday, let's keep it at 10, opposite side. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Step your feet a little wider than hip width apart. And we're gonna squat down and touch either the floor or the calf if you're not going down in your squats <sighs> to the right side so touch down bring up touch down bring it up over to the left touch to the right bring to the left one two straight back three four you can hover here in the air five six seven eight nine and ten opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and let's lower down onto the booty for a few pelvic tilts so we're just gonna flatten the lower back on the floor pull the belly in draw the belly button towards the spine and release mula banda as well let's go just a few pelvic tilts Again, finding here that TVA contraction. Transverse abdominis. Uh, contraction, the deep abdominal muscles. All right, and bridge. Feet pointing directly forward instead of opening out. And we're gonna come up you can press your elbows down palms of the hands facing each other so that the chest is open and lift squeeze the booty lower down one two open chest three four five six seven eight nine ten and either do the same thing again or bring one leg one ankle over the right knee, left ankle over the right knee, and go one side, try to keep the hips level. One, two, three, four, five, squeeze, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and opposite side, or again, same thing, or pelvic tilt even. Three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten press the lower back into the floor and pull the belly in as hard as you can really feeling your own core strength and we're gonna glide the left heel on the floor away from us and back towards us really squeezing here one two this is from my postpartum series but anybody can benefit from those three four five six seven really squeeze eight nine ten opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten good job take a breather a moment here ten more bridge pulses one two three four five six seven 
8, 9, 10, hold, and let's bring the hands underneath the knees, rock up to standing, come to the front of the mat, hands over the heart, big breath in, filling up the lower belly, let's bring the hands onto the lower belly, Feel the belly filling up with air. few more really learning to breathe is one of the most important aspects of health and that's why yoga is so powerful because it really brings us into the present moment into our body and it allows us to deepen the breath twists and poses that bring the attention to the core really deepen our understanding of our own body our connection to our own body awareness of our own body and thus we can deepen the breath which is a spiritual as well as a physical thing. It allows us to deepen our connection to our soul as the breath is the connection between the physical and the soul, the body and the soul. So if we don't breathe properly, we cannot achieve really good health. And that is the main thing to take from yoga. It's the breath. And once we start breathing properly, we can actually heal from many things in the body that seemed incurable before that because we tap into our own potential for self-healing. We tap into that resource of energy, prana, vibrancy that is available to us. So keep coming back to yoga even after the series, obviously, if you can incorporate it at least three times a week into your life. It will extend your life and it will create vibrancy in your life. I hope you enjoyed, to eat, enjoyed today's beautiful, quick, O-level interval session. And I will see you tomorrow with another class. Let me know how this one was for you and make sure to if you subscribe to heal the notification button because subscription now doesn't mean that much you still may not get the notifications so make sure to do both if you want to get updated videos and remember to flow with strength and ease